और कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे रॉकस्टार की माँ की ना कैसा की होगी लेडीज एंड जेलमैन टूडे वी गा टॉक अबाउट द लूसिया बुंडा वेर इज द लूसिया बुंडा वेन आर वी गट द ट्रेलर नंबर टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल फॉर लुकिंग लाइक दिस एंड देर आर न्यू रिपोर्ट कमिंग आउट राइट नाउ वर्गना गेट डाउन टू इट लाइक दीडियो इफ यू लव योर मामा लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू लव गॉड लेट्स गो फॉर सिक्स लाइक्स ऑन द वीडियो गाइज एंड आई वॉन्ट शॉर्ट आउट द होमी प्रोजेक्ट वाइस आई वॉन्ट शो यू दिस वीडियो He's an OG. I'm going to real quick like and subscribe. I recognize him project wise guys. So, uh let's roll it. Video. So, questions on a lot of people's mind in the community at the moment is and first of all, is when is Trailer 2 coming? And secondly, when is Rockstar Games going to finally break their 10 month silence which is still ongoing at the moment? A lot of the GTA and 10 months. You guys out of your goddamn mind, man. Yeah, the trailer came out December the 4th last year, right? And it is already uh, October the 5th. Crazy. Rockstar Games community have grown tired, which is understandable considering the lengthy amount of time that Rockstar have been silent for without providing any single update in relation to the game. All we know currently at the moment from Rockstar Games themselves is of course the official release of Trailer 1 and everything that was included within it. And in extension to this, obviously the official communications from Rockstar Games as well, such as their official press release the welcome to leonardo message yeah. other than that we haven't heard a peep out of them since th that's wild right like meanwhile you got assassin's creed shadows of the bbc getting shut down right <laughs> ubisoft you know like what yeah in the last year we had so much crap that went down and guys wait for it like i want to show you something important as well but in the last year last month as well we had so many crazy stuff happening in gaming concord getting shut down right dustborn we had dustborn right We also had the Suicide Squad situation. We uh w w yeah, Fair Games Marathon, right? Ubisoft is on a brink of getting sold out, shut down, whatever you want to call it, right? Tencent looking to buy them out and Rockstar Take 2 they're out there doing helicopters with their release. Uh thank you for subscribing, Roger. Appreciate it, Roger. Rockstar Games out there doing helicopters with their release, smelling their own farts. What is going on, man? Y'all so just need to drop trailer too, man. Hey man, listen, we need the information immediately. Like the video if you agree, guys. then regarding the game but we have heard from their parent company Take 2 Interactive where they have provided an official release time frame for the game that being next year in fall of 2025 between yeah. the months of September to November which can always get delayed guys so we're we're not going to take that as a confirmation even though they confirmed it but we're not going to November which is the expected time frame of GTA 6 to be releasing so that's everything okay. officially we know from Rockstar and Take 2 but now getting but... into a little bit more of the educated speculation side of things basing it off of Rockstar's patterns in the past but also what has been occurring in the news today circulating everything surrounding the game so yeah, in answering the question when are we likely to hear an update from Rockstar Games regarding trailer 2 well we can base it off a few things in relation to the news out there and that is one of the big announcements that did occur in the last many weeks was that Sony and PlayStation officially unveiled the PlayStation 5 Pro. And this console in Sony and PlayStation's eyes is the meal ticket to have the best possible experience playing Grand Theft Auto 6. And the thing about the PS I mean, if on the PS5 Pro if it still runs at 30 FPS then <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't want it, man. I don't want it. Seven hundred dollars for that console. How many of you guys are gonna buy it? Let me know in the comments. If you're gonna buy it, that's like, listen, that's perfectly fine. But seven hundred dollars, you guys gotta agree, right? Like, it's it's too much. It's a too much money. It's a too much money, bro. I can go to China right now. I can get it for two pennies, bro. Bruh. What the hell are we talking about? It's not getting disc drive. It's not getting a vertical stand. and you have to pay like yearly or monthly subscription to be able to play online despite paying for your internet services right despite buying the games what are we talking about man these suckers are crazy okay and on top if it turns out that GTA 6 is like still playing at 30 fps it's like man Five Pro is that it is set to launch on November 7th of this year, go. which is just over a month away as of the recording of this video. Now, why does that matter? You might ask. Now, I'll get to that in a moment. But before we do, we have to trace our steps back prior to Trailer One, where Sam Hauser and Rockstar Games came out with a post on social media announcing that Grand Theft Auto 6's Trailer One will be set to release in early December. Now, one of the mm. interesting things that came out of this mm. following mm. it was that Take Two did have their quarterly earnings call yeah. a few hours after this post went out. Now, that was definitely and yeah, we're approaching right next month. We're gonna get there. earnings call and maybe around that time we're going to get to see trailer number 2. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, shit. It, it is possible and quite frankly I feel like that a lot of people are already already are believing that we're going to get to see the Lucia Bruna for the second time. Maybe they're going to nerf it, hopefully not, right? Fingers crossed, guys. Bruh. But but uh, yeah, right? Like there's a whole lot of uh, crap going down in the video games industry, so you never know. They might nerf the Bruna though. So hopefully not. Hopefully not. But next month it's likely that they're going to announce some information and after that we get their earnings call 
and uh, perhaps we get to see trailer number two in December, just like last year, like uh, after a year. But that's still kind of wild. But if we don't get it, then I think the game is most probably gonna get delayed the most. Yeah, 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 you're right. Like, uh, they need to drop it, man. Come on now. It done intentionally on behalf of Rockstar and Take Two to, of course, drive up interest in relation to the company and, of course, for GTA 6 to officially mm. start getting the official communication and the word out there that the trailer is going to be set to launch in early December of last year. Now, in connecting yeah, these yeah, dots yeah. together, and you're probably already working it out in your head, and that is that Take Two is going to have their next earnings call in mid November. Now, even though it's not officially confirmed that the call is it's going to be happen. taking place on a certain day happen. in November, it is very likely that it is going going to happen because these calls do happen every quarter. Now, seeing yep, that the yep. Take-Two call is going to be around mid-November, the fact that the PS5 Pro is going to be launching on November 7th and that Rockstar haven't said a lick of a word or anything, any update in relation to GTA 6 since last year. And there has been a rumor that said that uh, Rockstar has uh, got like marketing rights or PlayStation Sony, they, they got the marketing rights for GTA 6, which just means that they're gonna be able to label PlayStation, like they're gonna be able to stamp the PlayStation name al alongside GTA. It doesn't mean that it's not coming out on Xbox, it's gonna be coming out on Xbox, guys. Like, come on now, man, it's not, it's not that okay, but uh, anybody that tells you that, they're, they're just capping. But it could happen where, you know, maybe uh, if there is some exclusive content on the PlayStation, right? It can happen, maybe like 500k uh, GTA cash, which is worth absolutely nothing, Bruh. right? You know, you know, it could happen that. Yo, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Gang it, gang it, gang it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We, we could get, like, some smaller exclusive stuff, right? Like, yeah, may maybe, maybe... We're gonna get GTA Plus Plus on the PlayStation, <laughs> where they they give us like a discount on buying the GTA Plus monthly subscription for one month for one month on on the PlayStation. If that happens, I mean these things can go pound sand for that man. These things can go Since pound the trailer sand, launched, bro. This is shaping up very nicely for all three parties to finally come out and communicate that the next trailer is going to be launching. Now, in terms of the initial communication of providing an update, that will obviously solely come from Rockstar Games first, and then it'll likely come from Sony, PlayStation, and of course, Take-Two following this. And we have seen numerous reports out there claiming that Rockstar and Sony have a partnership in relation to GTA 6 and mm. the upcoming trailer 2, and yeah. of course, in relation to the PS5. Yeah, it says that... <laughs> Pump the brakes up, pump to the GTA brakes. 6 and the upcoming trailer too. It's a, a few days ago, another rumor came from Red Gaming Twig on Twitter saying that can confirm I've heard and mentioned in a video that Sony is going to use GTA 6 for heavy marketing for the PS5 Pro. Don't take as confirmation though, pinch of salt until it's announced. Okay, we're gonna take it with like five tons of salt, bruh. And of course, in relation to the PS5 Pro. So yes, not only from the reports and rumors out there, but even from former Sony president, Jim Ryan, back in 2020, where he officially announced that the PlayStation partnership with the Rockstar We got bro Taku. <laughs> so there is Kotaku, obviously. What the hell is a bro Taku? So is that like a new publishing website? PlayStation and Rockstar Games are extending their partnership. Jim Ryan, president, he he peaced out though. He peaced out. He quit though. Oh shit! Yeah, he peaced out. Uh, Jim Ryan, president of Sony Inter Interactive. Okay, so that was actually back in 2020. The games will be continuing on a PlayStation 5. So based off all this information presented to us, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that Rockstar and Sony likely have a partnership for the upcoming Trailer 2 and when the game is released. I expect the Trailer 2 probably have some type of PS5 Pro, Sony, PlayStation yeah. logo yeah. or lettering within that video. Some communication there and relationship with Rockstar game. Yeah, right, like capture on PS5 Pro, Sony Pony 5 Pro, something along those lines. Yeah, it, it, I, I, and yeah, the, the trailers probably, or the gameplay, whatever they're going to show is probably going to be captured on ps5 pro that's what they're gonna show because the game is not coming out on pc yet at least so day one it's not gonna come on and i think whatever they're gonna show is gonna be related to consoles only so either xbox or playstation but what we're hearing is gonna be playstation it's believable because they have done partnership before with playstation as well games is likely going to be the case so based off yeah. all of this my thoughts are that and this is a likely scenario even envisioning it in my head is mm. that rockstar sony playstation and take two interactive something will be likely occurring within mid-november whether it's trailer two screenshots or an announcement of the next trailer coming official updates communication from rockstar is likely going to be occurring around this particular point in time it just makes it sense to. in my it head i'd like to, to get your thoughts down in that comment it, it, it gotta bro like absolutely you dead ass on that bro like a lot of people already believe i i even last year when the we saw the trailer one we were all saying that yeah bro trailer two is probably gonna come out a year later guys 
Don't hold your breath. We're gonna be 80 years old, you right? Like, everybody was warning everyone that it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen tomorrow, dog. Like, get ready. Prepare. Go in cryo sleep. It, there, this thing is gonna take time. And guess what? 10 months in, there is not a lick of news. Lick on, we actually had some news about it. But those were just rumors and turned out to be fake news. I mean... There we go, right? It happens. I mean, we're talking GTA, right? What if, like, those leaks and rumors were true, but it just happens to be that Rockstar is like, nah, bro, like, we're just not gonna release it, we're, because you guys, uh, you guys found out. I, I don't think that's true, but you never know, right? But I guess it's safe to say we're gonna get it by the end of this year. If not, that's still a possibility. I Bruh. don't know, right? But, but guys, what's true is true, right? It's still possible that we may not get it! We may not get it this year, right? Chances are high, but still it's not confirmed. But if we don't get it this year, then I would start to believe that it is getting delayed. But if we get it, then okay, maybe. It can still get delayed. Bruh. Even if we get it right. Because we're talking Rockstar Games, it's like, you know, it's it's very uncertain. Thank you for subscribing, appreciate it. Gang gang, thank you, thank you, thank you comment section below but moving on when will the marketing phase kick off in relation to gta 6 when will we actually start it already has with the trailer number one even prior to that when we got to see the very first house teaser picture i believe in gta trilogy yeah gta trilogy you know that the house that people saw and found out about and people said that hey man that that is looking different hey hey the clouds are like red dead redemption too but the house is like gta and we never have seen that house ever in our life and that's a miami house right so people saw that and the, I, I know a lot of people at that time did not want it to believe. A lot of people were believing it. Some people were fake believing it. Some people were like, nah, I believe it, but I'm not gonna show, right? I'm not gonna, not gonna show. And, and I get it, like GTA 6 got that negative connotation, right? People believe it's never gonna happen. I mean, people know it's happening, but you know, it's like one of those things. These seconds take so long that a lot of people just got trust issues and understandably, but that was our very first tease, and yeah, leaks there, leaks there. Some were absolutely true, and mostly, most, uh, most of those leaks, uh, most, most leaks were also false. But some of the leaks were actually true. So marketing has been going on for way too long. I mean, it was trending on Twitter every single week, right, for years uh, till we got to see uh, trailer one. But start seeing promotional posters, TV advertisements, billboard advertisements all across the globe. When will that actually start occurring? Mm. Well, first of all, basing it off what Rockstar have done in the past in relation to GTA 5. Now, I know this is going down the educated speculation route once again, but we do have an idea of what they have done, and that is that after Trailer 2 did get released with GTA 5, we actually did see pre-orders starting to go live around this particular point in time. And following this, this is where we also saw more- I, I think the advertisements and that sort of stuff is probably gonna go live probably a couple months before couple of months before you know promotional posters from rockstar getting released firstly that one with the bikini girl holding up the peace sign with the ifruit phone and then following that we also saw the exclusive look from popular magazine company game informer who announced yeah. their closure only just nearly Crazy. a couple of months ago they gave us an exclusive look at gta 5 and with this we saw that infamous poster with a three playable protagonist that being michael franklin and trevor yeah. now after this point which was around late Good 2012 times, going into the new year we saw numerous updates from rockstar games in relation to them providing us screen screenshots and other stuff as well and then yeah. shortly after this around mid 2013 or so that's when we actually started seeing uh, billboards advertisements around the globe as you can see the one on screen in los angeles with michael franklin i truly do hope that gta 6 comes out september of next year which means that we're less than a year away bro yeah i really hope that's that's what's gonna what what happens but still it can be delayed so don't let your dogs out we also ended up getting some gameplay leaks for gta 6 which we covered in this video check this one out if you already seen it then check out the video on the left me.